Hey, Apollo Baptist Church, Pastor Gary here on the Apollo Underground Vlog, and I am here in front of our gospel display here um, where we have all of our ping pong balls accumulated, and I wanted to let you know exactly what we're doing um, and give you some inspiration on using this thing um, as a way for us as a church to just reflect what God is doing, inviting people into God's kingdom. You know, in 1 Samuel uh, 18, uh, David is on the run again. I mean, he thought he was done with this. He thought, you know, after Saul was gone he's, and all of his enemies were gone, I mean, he wasn't ever going to be on the run again. But he sinned against God. You can hear about that in Pastor Jim's vlog earlier in the week. But he sinned against God and his family fell apart. His own son started a civil war against him. But in the middle of it, in 1 Samuel 18, David is about to leave. And when, at a time when everybody's against him, at a time when all of his nation really is against him, this guy named Ittai comes out of nowhere. He's a Philistine and a Philistine from Gath at that. And David says, look, go back to your homeland. There's no reason you got to get involved in this conflict. You don't have to be here with me. And Ittai said, as the Lord lives. A Philistine, a Philistine uh, says, as the Lord lives. But, in a, and at first you're, you kind of gloss over, oh great, yeah, a believer from Philistia. No, the Philistines did not believe in God. They did not believe in the God of Israel. They, they, even if, they, did, they knew he was, he was powerful, but they didn't care to submit to him, but this guy did. And if you look around, actually all of David's mighty men, well, most of them were actually not even from Israel. They're from somewhere else. And so uh, it's really cool when you think about the number of people David actually won to the God of Israel just spiritually, just won them to the Lord. I mean, they, they believed in the Lord. They loved him as their God, even though they weren't even from Israel. And so as we think about what we can do as church members, people who are in the family of God, people who are in the kingdom of God, how can we win people over to the gospel? And so um, I'll, I'll show you right here what you can do. So every Sunday when you come to church, you can come right to this gospel display right here. And so I just texted a friend of mine and invited him to my home group this Sunday. You know, you don't have to invite, it doesn't have to be somebody you invite to church. Maybe it's to invite them to a meeting with you to talk about Jesus, or maybe it's to a Bible study, or maybe it's to something else, but it's something that, about God and you invite them to take a step toward God. So I did that. And so I'm going to go right over here to this little bin right here and right here, connections, because right over here on the board, it says a direct invitation you made to someone who does not attend a church to come to a church event, you know, watch the sermon online, engage in a Bible reading plan or have a spiritual conversation with you. You know, it, it's, uh, that's what I just did. So I'm going to put this little ping pong ball and I'm going to put, boom. All right. I just put it in there and now we can grow the kingdom of God. That's, we I don't know what's going to happen with that person. I don't know if it's going to actually happen, but I at least made a connection, right? Eventually, we can have a conversation, right? So if the person takes you up on that, has a conversation about God with you, then that's another ping pong ball. And then, and I just had this conversation with a kid in our church, and I can't wait for you to know who it is. Eventually, we get to conversions. People who are saved and baptized, I got, I got to let you know, an 11 year old is going to get baptized next week. I don't want to break, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but somebody's, uh, I just met with this girl and her parents and wow, God has done a great work in her life. So I invite you all uh, to participate in our Who's Your One board. I trust that you will and I trust that all of this, all these ping pong balls will go all the way to the top before the end of the year. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.